Do you have any notes for our discussion? No. Summertime got the best of us and didn't finish the water margin, but next time, for sure. <laughs> As you said, this that book just might end. <laughs> it can't. It can't. We got these. We got all this fancy equipment. Just True. For, just for the water margin. This, True. All this was strictly. <laughs> Is it me, or does it keep sliding down? That one. That one. It does slide a little bit. Okay. It, it's a little bit looser than this one. All right. Um, I guess yes. Yeah, so I guess uh, you're right. After the after the little hiatus. It, it feels like normal, but it also feels weird to try to get back into it. But I guess that's how it, even going into every summer, it's kind of the same thing, but it just feels the shift. So I guess the end of summer is the same, getting back into our normal little routines of things. True, and I find it very fitting that we would pick the most bizarre <laughs> book. But, uh, but at the, the start of summer, um, we thought we'd be able to fit in something shorter, so we picked uh, Sorrowland by River Solomon in order to, like, since the, the madness with the summer reading and uh, trying to get through the water market, it didn't seem like it would, felt like we could get ahead a little bit, but, but we're just now being able to, to uh, sit down and discuss it, so it, uh, didn't get as uh, far as I, I thought we would, but that's all right. That's all right. In the water margin? In just getting everything okay. done because I felt like I, it would, I think I finished that like a month ago or so now. So, it, has it really been that long? Because I finished it. I finished it before you did. finished yeah. it like a week before you did, and then it's been a couple of weeks. Really? Okay. Something I was just like thinking that. that we had just finished it, but then again, my, my concept of time is, has been completely off. Uh, it's summertime. Still twitching? Yeah, sometimes you can see it. It's just, I mean, I can see it. <laughs> hmm. It's right in the cor corner of my eye. So you just feel it twitching? Yeah, I feel it, and I can kind of see it. Just, oh, God. It, it, it like, doesn't like go in and out like a flash, because it's not covering my whole eye. It's mm -hmm. just like the, the bottom. Is... No, I want to see. <laughs> All right, look. I mean, so if I start... <laughs> if it starts happening, I, I'll like, start okay. pointing to my face. Okay. But... <clears throat> So Sorrowland was was your idea, not your idea, but uh, I okay. guess it goes with the story. So I have to admit, I it was my pick, or I brought it to our attention, only because it had been on my bookshelf for a while, and and I just thought it was going to be a very fun interesting book, but it turned out to be completely different from what I was expecting. I mean, it was, it was interesting. Okay, first, <laughs> I, I would like to hear your thoughts on, um, on just how you, or what you thought about it in general. Uh, well, like, like most things, I, I went into it having no idea what it was about. know if I could have picked anything if I, even if looking at this cover I see it now I see it now but at first I wouldn't have thought fungus girl you know it's but I like weird stuff like that I thought that was it's not something I would have thought up myself I believe or even at the start even the first couple of chapters I wouldn't have thought that this was going to be about turning into a superhuman mushroom of sorts. Um, but I did keep seeing this copy had the sci-fi fantasy, and it doesn't start off that way. And I, I kept trying to figure out, like, why was it had that sticker? And yeah, I, I get it now. How would you rate it? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like, love it. I didn't hate it. Three or four. Okay. All right. I I didn't like it, but I didn't hate it. <laughs> um, I knew that was coming. <laughs> um, I sort of 
think that the um, label on the spine is misleading because it it defies all. <laughs> you really can't categorize it just because it has so many elements, so many elements that I find that they often competed with each other. So you didn't like the how it was how it dealt with all the topics and threw in the mushrooms. Because I mean, I'd say it's definitely it's definitely a fantasy. It's very dark, like a realistic. I don't want to say dark fantasy because mm -hmm. that implies like castles and wizards, but it's um, but it's dark and it's got those fantastical elements. Mm -hmm. so. I actually looked it up and um, it was listed under the genres of gothic, horror, um, magic realism, sci-fi. I, get, I, get. I mean, just all of that. Well, the sci-fi, yeah, it would be in there too. I mean, it wasn't. Yes. Because I mean, it wasn't like sci-fi as in like Dr. Frankenstein, but mm -hmm. but it had the the science element that was in the fiction with the potion that turns people into mushroom. True, but then again, it's, I mean, it, it's also like a manifesto just with the message that it was trying to um, convey, but I guess it, it fit into the story. But I will have to admit, though, I, I just sort of have to admit that I didn't like it, but I think it's more because it's not the kind of book that I enjoy. The writing wasn't bad. But um, it's just not a book that I really enjoy because of, reading. Because of those elements? or just, It touched, okay, I don't know. I don't know if I believe all of that because it touched on some very dark, heavy. It, yeah, <laughs> but, but Ryan, I have never read a book that had just so many things going on at once. It was just too much for me. Yeah. Just too much. Um, so... You at least agree with that. I'll give you that. Because, like, at, okay. at some points, like, near the, near the end, I don't know if uh, they knew where they were going with it because all of a sudden it almost turned into like a straight-up monster flick. I was going to ask you if you thought that um, rather than, you know, everything coming out at the end like some superhero movie that, right. that it – would have been more, um, um, I mean, I don't know if, uh, if it would have been better if River Solomon dispersed all of that throughout the book. I don't know if you gather this, because I just, I just thought of it after I made the comment about the monster movie, but it was broken up into three parts. It was kingdom plant, kingdom animal, kingdom fungus, wasn't it? The three... Three kingdom animal, yeah, and a animalia, mm -hmm. and then the middle one was maybe fungi. Yeah, kingdom fungi. Okay. And then the first one was plant, plant, plantae. I don't mm -hmm. know. So, so I guess if it's three parts, she broke it up into three sections. So the plant part was when she was in the woods, she had the babies, she was discovering herself, she was, I guess, growing. That's one way. I mean, she grew the whole book. But then the middle part, you have the fungus, and that's when she learns out she starts getting the scales, I guess is the word. Oh, the exoskeleton. Yeah, yeah. and uh, started like touching the ground and feeling all the information. But then the last part, I guess, kingdom animal, that's the most, like plants, other than like a Venus flytrap, but like plants don't fight each other, and like mushrooms don't really, but the animal kingdom is like a brutal place, so you have all the, the violence and the, the fighting, and then... And then, so maybe that's why, maybe it was broken down. It's three different sections read, meant to be read in three different ways, told in slightly varied, because the first part was like in a, like a, what's, like the hatchet, like a, like a survival kind of story. Mm -hmm. And the middle part was, was a, almost like a love story. Discovery. Discovery. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she starts like feeling like loving herself and loving another person, mm -hmm. which she would never. She always loved her kids, but like mm -hmm. lo loving a stranger, really, with the. Uh, what was her name? Gogo. Gogo. <laughs> and then, uh, and then the last part, like an action movie. Home, I keep saying movie, but like, like a, like a, like a 
traditional action story. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know. This is all just like I said. I I don't. I have, I didn't put any thought. In, this literally is just coming. No. Moment, so. I I actually like that analysis. Feel free to throw me out and just. No 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 I. I agree. So from the title, were you expecting a little more sorrow? I mean, it was sad. I mean, yeah. she lost everything, <gasps> and she never had anything, and mm -hmm. and. And it also touched on the, the sorrow of, like, who owned the land because the, oh, you said Go-Go, and what's her name? The ant. Bridget? Yeah, they were indigenous to the, the area. Mm -hmm. And, like, so who, I think it's, like, a maybe, like, a play on, I don't know. I don't know this. I don't know. What do you? So the reason why I bought the book was because when I visited my friend at the bookstore, she she brought it to my to my attention, saying, "Oh, you know, oh, it's a very strange book, but it's supposed to be very good." So I thought, "Well, my coworker and I like strange," so I bought it, and um, <laughs> I told her that now I want my money back. <laughs> um, well, I had. Recently gone back to talk to her, right. and she had also read it. She didn't like it either. Oh, really? She didn't like it. Um, I mean, I didn't, I didn't she's dislike more, it. Her, her, uh, she probably, she likes books that are similar to the ones that I like. So, so like, moody and real and. Yes, I mean, I think we have similar reading interests and styles. It's just, so I would have been very surprised if she enjoyed this book. I mean, I think the other um, people who also read the, that book at the bookstore didn't like it either. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. If, I didn't, like I said, I didn't dislike it, but it wouldn't come to mind if someone asked for a recommendation. Mm -hmm. but, but just based on the, the cover, it's definitely something I would have Mm -hmm. randomly picked up. I, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, as I told you, I I don't know if I, I... I mean, I think I just didn't like it because it's just not the kind of book that I enjoy reading. It's, it's just because of those fantasy elements? Because, like I said, it touched on a lot of, like, like gender and themes of gender and themes of race and themes of, like, um, you know... Religion with the, 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 the cane. The cane land. Cane land. You would think that I would be, um, you know. I mean, I mean, I am drawn to those themes, but I think it was the sci-fi elements that, that just didn't do it for me. I am just not a sci-fi reader. <laughs> I don't, well, it might, I don't know. I don't read many sci uh, Maybe science fiction books. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's just the writing isn't bad. It's just not the kind of book that I. So that stuff just kind of took you out of it, or you just it was just too fantastical where you couldn't. You were like. Maybe that. That was can't be real. You can't grow a mushroom exoskeleton. Because I thought that was. I, it's I it was not real. that I. Don't think that it could work for a book, <laughs> maybe it, it was the bizarre mature scenes in it that oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, was to not, I, mean, I was trying to talk around it, oh, but yeah. Yeah. there were two, and do you remember the latter one yeah. that included and all the ghosts? The orgy with the two ghosts? <laughs> that was very, very um, strange. Yeah, yeah, I think it was meant to be, it was meant to be strange, I think. But, but it was also, I think, they were all coming to terms with, with what they wouldn't be able to do when they were alive, maybe? I don't know, mm -hmm. I don't know. But I, I I don't know, I didn't think about it until you just mm -hmm. mentioned the... I mean, it was no... 
It was no uh, romance book club, but. Were you expecting the gender defying themes to the book? Like at the beginning or just in general? Well, um, I think in general and also, I don't think the book ever really identified Howling and Farrell as male or female. I mean, I always assumed that they were male, but. I thought it said he for them. That's what I thought so too, but then again, um, there was one, one part, oh gosh, I should have um, marked it, where um, maybe when they were on the bus or somewhere that Vern stated that they could be either, I mean, I'll have to find, I'll have to find it oh. and show you, but I, I still remember that. I didn't, didn't, uh, I didn't pick up on that. that uh that glossed right by me, I guess. I did like the um, concept of of just how the hauntings occurred, like the and the hauntings and the hallucinations that the people who were from Caneland or who lived there, right. and if they died, the mycelium ate their brains, then that's how they they got the um, hallucinations and whatnot. I was devastated to learn that Lucy had died because right. that was the reason she she left Caneland. Yeah, but I um, mean she needed to get out anyway. Yes. But um I just I don't know, I just really wanted them to reunite and Right. I don't know. I, I I like the fact that That it, was heartbreaking. I like the fact it took that turn though, because your whole time you're kind of expecting it and and then uh the author was like, Nope. <laughs> it doesn't usually bother me, so I guess Barbara I mean, I'm having a Barbara moment <laughs> where I just, <laughs> I just really wanted them to find each other again. Well, they, they kind of did because she was in the ground and then she pulled her up and they had their little moment and then she was like, you know, I'm, I'm obviously gone because you can see me and then they had their mm -hmm. little, their closure. That's a good word. Okay. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. It's I forgot all about the ghost orgy. <laughs> <laughs> you're still, I mean, I can tell you're still thinking about. I mean, it didn't bother me. Like, no, 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 I just but, got to that part and thought, oh my goodness, that was, I. That was uh, steamy in its own way. <laughs> but I don't know. I had, it, you know, it really, it may have not collectively been something for everyone, but it definitely had elements of things for everyone, whether you're into, you know, cults or, or a paranormal romance or a, or a action, action books. It has a lot going for it. Yes, I mean, I guess it, there, <laughs> there are certain parts that I guess would, that would please almost anyone. I mean, just because it, it just, yeah. But altogether it was too much. Too so, much for me. So just I, way too much. It just got a little too busy, and and um, and at that point, I just thought that there were just too many competing elements and themes, and it just got to be like this mumbled story. I don't right. know. Um, I give you that. Okay. I give you that. All right, but you didn't feel the same way. Oh my! It definitely had a definitely had a lot going on and a lot of uh you said very various competing elements but I don't know I guess I I guess that stuff just doesn't it ha mm -hmm. doesn't I don't know it doesn't bother you I guess not but like I guess that at the same time though at the same time I I don't know if I it doesn't come to mind if mm -hmm. I guess it's not going to be like a, a, a standout in any sort of way. Okay, but did you enjoy it enough to where you would seek out other books? The author has maybe two or three other books? Something like that. I don't know, maybe. Maybe just to see see what they're all about. But If you read them, you have to tell me about them. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm glad that it was your pick and I didn't force this upon you. <laughs> so that way you some like hidden resentment for me to, all summer. Okay, so I do have to ask you this. When we first started the book, you had mentioned that you were really liking it. At 
At what point did your um, opinion start to shift from really liking it to just liking it? I guess I, I was really liking the fact that it involved weird mushroom girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's, that's just an unusual element, and it's unique mm -hmm. and never come across anything really like that. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was very interesting. I'll give the author that. It's it's very original and imaginative. But I maybe I was also saying it's just a, I could tell that you weren't feeling it, so I was trying to It was trying to keep pushing you without giving anything away. Uh, not not bad, but just not what I wanted to read. Maybe that's what I should say. It's not a bad book in and of itself. Right. It's it's just that it's it's just not my kind of read. You had two choices on your nightstand out of, you know, the 40. I would pick the essays. you pick the other ones. <laughs> and um, the writing is, is quite good. Right. <clears throat> uh, yeah. But just, um, so I do have to mention, I, my uh, friend who also read it, she, I think she disliked it more than I did. And when I pressed her for more, for more information, she said that she couldn't quite pinpoint the reason. Right. So I don't know if. But that's that's usually. It usually. Maybe means she's you're just onto something. Well, I mean, if you can't quite, um, if people start saying why they really like something because it's connected, or if they really hated something, it's usually they they want to like. They wanted it how they would have done it, mm -hmm. but if you can't quite put your finger on it. Because I, I said the same thing. I, I can't quite say why I didn't love it, but I can't quite say why I didn't. Maybe it's the ghost <laughs> in the orgy. <laughs> I didn't bother me. That's, that was, but uh, but it usually means that that they're onto something, or they're they're correct, or their their feelings are. Especially if it's like the first kind of instinct, you know. But, so uh, I would I wouldn't discredit that that notion. But I don't know if we'll have another. If we'll have more time to do another. Um, Reading, probably not. If you want to try to finish the water margin, I'm gonna knock it. I'm. I'm All right, so we're I just, focusing on the. Water I just want to. Let's get it done. <laughs> let's get it done. Come, come hell or high water. All right. Margin. Okay. All right. So how long have we been saying <laughs> this? Since the this is it. This, yeah. This is this is gonna be. All right. I mean, granted, we had several things just thrown our way that we were not expecting, COVID being one of them. And then the, you know, the summer COVID and then um, summer and then vacations and then, yeah, just, but it, it, it's going to happen. It's gotta happen. Right, it's gotta happen. right. It's gotta happen. You know, it's, yeah. But I can't let myself down, you know. <laughs> well, all right, look. <laughs> I mean, like every time I, um, I don't dread sitting down to read it. I just, um, I think it, it just did not help that we had just finished like several tomes, but I just had it in, in the back of my mind that I was not going to let this book get the best of us. So we have to do this. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get, can't let it, can't let it defeat us. Because it, if, if something was going to defeat us, it should have been Genji. That, That's what I was thinking. That should have been the one that, that, that threw us under the, like, that completely destroyed everything. And we made it through Genji somehow. But, well, and we also made it through um, the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I mean, and it's by the same author, right? Yeah, it's, it's considered, it's one of, like, five, three or five, I can't remember the number of, like, um, Chinese epics that... They all came out, I guess, around the same time or something. I'm not. I read it somewhere. I have to look it up. We just have to accept the fact that we were just epicked out. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that. <laughs> I mean, I like, I like, I like Three Kingdoms. I like that one. Except for the ending. Well, right. <laughs> <laughs> but for the most part, um, maybe that's it. Maybe we're. So worried about that last 50 pages that the, the first 950, if you can't get there, then you never have to you know, worry about it, right? 
Yeah, I, um, I mean, I've been, <clears throat> I mean, I've been trying to go back to it often, but I, and as we've said many, many times, it's a good story so far. Right. I, just the fact that it's just so long. And I think since we're such big readers that we know that it's keeping us from other books that we would like to enjoy as well. Right. So I think that makes it even more the difficult. Other, especially the other uh, 900 and <laughs> 90, what, six? I don't even know. How many books have we? I mean, so what number is the water margin? Oh, shoot, there was a Arabian Nights. Uh, the one about the, the girl from the moon. Oh, um. Genji, water margin. This is number five. What about the. Is this number five? The, um. Or from the moon is also the bamboo du bamboo uh, bamboo cutter's daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, one. right? Yeah. Well, that's one. In it, it had a couple different different titles. Okay, okay. But yeah, I think this one's just number five. <laughs> <laughs> five. We can't stop at five. All right, right. Can't stop at five. Cause, I mean, they'll, they'll get shorter. They'll get shorter, then they'll get longer again. You know, they'll be in and out. But these these first ones. Okay. We have to do it. What is our deadline again? I don't know. <laughs> Soon. <laughs>